This video is about the oil analysis results for the GCV 190cc engine in my Honda HRX 217 lawnmower. The engine oil was supposed to be changed 5 hours after the braking period, but instead I ran it for another 4 years, putting at least another 100 hours on the engine. I used the bottle of Honda brand 10W30 oil that came in the box with the lawnmower for its first fill up. It ran fine for all those years until I decided to change the oil and send out a sample to Blackstone Labs for analysis. This video is not sponsored by Blackstone Labs, but I am definitely a fan of them since you can get a lot of information for just about any oil or fluid that goes into any machine from diesels to planes to heavy equipment. The test results indicate high metal content due to the engine parts breaking in. The above average aluminum and copper levels are most likely from material shedding off the connecting rod and engine block. Since a small engine like the GCV190 does not have separate rod bearings, the rod is made of a copper aluminum alloy that is softer than the crankshaft and is basically a bearing in itself. As the rod surface seats itself onto the crankshaft, it will release minute amounts of copper and aluminum into the oil. Additionally, as the piston rings settle into the aluminum cylinder walls, aluminum will be released into the oil as well. The high molybdenum content is due to the additive package in the factory Honda oil. Molybdenum is commonly used as an anti-wear additive that produces an effect known as molly plating by depositing a thin layer of molybdenum on the parts to reduce friction. The boron levels are very high, but this is most likely due to the additive package, where boron is used as a corrosion inhibitor for its anti-wear and antioxidant properties. The very high level of silicone is most likely from silicone-based sealers used to assemble the engine. Silicone is also a major component of sand, but the air filter was very clean on this mower, so I doubt it's from external oil contamination. I think this is just excess sealer that flashed into the crankcase and broke down over time, which is why the levels are so high. The report also mentioned that the engine oil is thinner than the 10W30 weight it's supposed to be. In this case, the oil's viscosity went down into the 5W20 range, or possibly lower. As the report states, the oil became thinner because of oil shearing. Higher mechanical stresses, among other things, break down longer oil molecules into shorter molecules, which results in thinner oil. Oil shearing is more common in smaller engines due to higher mechanical stresses from lower build tolerances. Fuel dilution from gasoline getting past the piston rings as well as oxidation from long periods of non-use during the winter will also degrade oil. Finally, a test for the total base number was calculated at 5.5. TBN is a lubricant's reserve alkalinity, and it is important because combustion byproducts tend to form acidic compounds, so TBN is the acid neutralization capacity of the lubricant. At 5.5, it is way above the critical level of 1.0. Despite the healthy TBN levels of the oil, the fact that significant oil shearing took place indicates that small engines should have their oil replaced yearly. And according to Honda, small engine oil should be replaced every 6 months or after every 50 hours. I guess this is basic knowledge, but it's nice to see proven with a lab test. To keep track of the engine hours, I installed a vibration sensing hour meter on the fan cover. Regardless, the mower rang great before and after the oil change, and I think this is a testament to Honda build quality. I think using synthetic oil might reduce the shearing problem, but I'm not sure if it's okay to run synthetic in small engines. Maybe someone can provide some information in the comments section below. If you found this video interesting, please press the like button and subscribe for future oil analysis content.